In this video, I'm gonna go over a basic setup for manufacturing accounting. We have all of our apps here. We're gonna install the manufacturing app. This is a brand new database. So we'll just quickly install the manufacturing app and we'll go through the entire flow of setting up all of your products, your basic accounts. Of course, um, you can set up your accounts however you like. I'm just gonna give you a very basic overview of how this may work. And we're just going to assume we're using AVCO costing method here. You know, it's common to use standard, but in this example, I will use AVCO. So we're first gonna go into our inventory app. We're gonna go to our product categories. Just for simplicity, we're gonna archive or, oops, we're gonna delete these. We have our all product category. I'm gonna change this to uh, raw material. And we'll say this is FIFO. We're gonna do average cost. We're gonna do automated inventory valuation. We have, we're gonna set this as our cost of revenue account, cost of goods sold. We're gonna change our stock valuation name to uh, raw material. So we'll go into accounting. Chart of accounts. Let's change this stock valuation to raw material. We're gonna create another um, account here for finished goods. Which would be our stock valuation for our finished goods. We'll just say 110400 and we'll make this a current asset. And we're also gonna create a work in progress account. Make this also a current asset. So now we have our work in progress account, our finished goods. We have our raw material and our stock in term received and delivered. Now back into our inventory, we're gonna create another product category. This one's going to be for finished goods. Same FIFO removal strategy. We'll change this to automated and AVCO. Raw material here. We're gonna change this to finished goods. And we'll change this to cost of revenue or cost of goods sold. We'll save. Now we have our product category set up. In inventory configuration settings, we're going to turn on uh, multi step routes. We'll save. Well, we just really need storage locations. <clears throat> so, we're going to edit our accounts on our location. So, we're going to remove this default internal filter. We're going to go to our production location and we're going to set this as our work in progress account. So, this is the stock valuation incoming and outgoing. When products move into our production facility or out of our production facility, the WIP account is going to be holding our inventory for that intermediary period. In our manufacturing process, we're going to turn on work centers and work orders. So we'll save that. We'll create a new work center. Well, it's going to load for a second. Now we're going to go to work centers. We'll create a new work center. We'll call this test work center. And this cost per hour is going to calculate the cost, our total overhead cost for this work center. So whatever the employee rate plus overhead, whatever that needs to be. So we're just going to total this and say, that it comes to $150 per hour for this work center for all of our overhead and um, employee costs. So it's gonna factor into, um, with our bill material, it's gonna factor in the total cost to produce a unit. So now we're gonna go to our products. We're gonna create component ones and one and two. This is gonna be a storable product. We'll remove the taxes. This cannot be sold. We're just gonna purchase this and we'll say this is $10. This is a raw material. We we'll can add a vendor. We'll make a new vendor, vendor one. Price is $10. 
and that should all be good. We'll save and we'll duplicate that. This is going to be two. We'll say this one costs us 20. It's also a raw material. We'll buy that from vendor one and it's going to be 20. And this should be buy. Okay, so we'll save that. And now we're going to create our finished good. We'll just say finished good. It's going to be a finished good. We'll leave the cost blank because we're using AFCO. We'll produce the cost. We'll sell this for 200. We can only sell it, we cannot purchase it. Our inventory is going to be manufacturer. So now it's all set up. We're going to create a bill of material for this. We create a new bill of material for the finished good, manufacture this product for one unit. We're going to use one component one and one component two. We're going to add an operation. We're going to say test operation. And this work center is going to be that test work center where we have the cost of $150 per hour. So we'll save and close this. We'll save. And now we will create a new manufacturing order. Before I do that, I'm going to purchase our products from vendor one. I'll purchase five of, of product one and five of product two. Okay. Let's remove the taxes, save. We'll confirm this order, receive our products in validate and we'll create a vendor bill confirm register our payment and now we'll take a look at our balance sheet we have our current assets raw materials 150 dollars Val Stanley payments for 150 for that bill that we need to pay, but we won't worry about that too much right now. <clears throat> so now we're going to go into manufacturing operations, manufacturing orders, and create a new manufacturing order for our finished good. We can save this. We'll confirm. We can plan it. We have our work order here. We're going to start our work order. Of course, you can go in and do all of your operations that you need to do. We're just going to make this simple here. Mark that as done. Go back to our manufacturing order. We have our real duration here. We're just going to edit this to make it more clear. We'll say that this took us 30 minutes, so it should have a cost of $75 associated with that 30 minutes. So we'll save and we'll mark this as done. Now look at our cost analysis. We'll see that our cost is $10 for the component one, $20 for component two, that total is $30. And our operational cost, so the overhead and employee cost is $150 per hour. It took us one half of an hour to do this, so the total cost is 75. For our overhead, the total production for one unit is $105. Now, since we're using average cost, if we go to our products and we look at our finished good, we'll see that the cost is $105 based on that build material or that manufacturing order that we just produced. Now, if we go into our accounting software and we go to our balance sheet, we'll see that we have $120 in raw material. We have our finished good account has $105 and our work in progress account has minus $75 and if we take a look at those journal items we'll see that we took in two components for $10 and $20 and we produced a good for $105 so our total overhead cost was that $75 that's in this account right here We have our finished goods so that the WIP account produced the finished good, which is a total of $105. <clears throat> so now what we want to do is sell our product. So we'll create a new sale order for our finished good.
and we'll confirm. We can deliver this product to the customer. Create an invoice, receive the money. Register the payment. And now we're gonna go back to our accounting software or accounting app. We're gonna to go to our profit and loss statement. We'll see that our operating income for the product sales is $200. Our total cost of revenue for that product was $105. Now we can go back to our balance sheet. This work in progress account <clears throat> That balance is all of our overhead costs. We can compare it with our actual overhead costs. Um, if we had other accounts that are going to handle our actual overhead costs. So this is the basic flow of the manufacturing accounting. Um, you have everything accounted for. Uh, you have all of your accounts set. You have your work in progress account that's giving you the total overhead.